Hey, what's up everybody? Too Tall Toby here, and in today's SolidWorks Quick Tip, we're gonna talk about sheet metal and bend relief. And you can see an example of bend relief right here on this model. Bend relief is this little additional notch that gets created here to create a little gap and a little bit of extra material in this region so that when the manufacturing team goes to implement this bend, it doesn't cause the material up top along this edge to twist. If this was just a straight edge here along the top, if it, if it didn't have this little notch here, then it's likely that the material would kind of twist and pull away in this region to try to follow the bend. So what the manufacturing team can do is they can put in a little notch here. It could be a little notch or it could be a very large notch to kind of clear out that area and make it so that that bend forms a lot more cleanly. And that's what's known as bend relief. This additional area here is bend relief. Well, there's different options to size the bend relief and there's different options to shape the bend relief. For example, I could have that bend relief created as a rectangular bend relief or I could create it as what's called an Abraun bend relief. So you can see here now we're coming up with that bend relief and then we're going into a little half circle and then coming down. So in today's video, we're gonna talk all about how to control the size of that bend relief and how to control the shape of that bend relief. But before we get into this video, I wanted to let everyone know that we are gonna be teaching an upcoming SolidWorks Sheet Metal Fundamentals training class. This is gonna be a brand new class that I just wrote and this is gonna be the first time that we're teaching it live the dates and the information are down below in the description, but we're also going to be releasing this as an on-demand training class. So if you can't make it to the live training with me, you could take it online at your own schedule and you can still get all that great information from Toby's Sheet Metal Fundamentals training class. So again, take a look down in the description. If you've ever been interested in learning more about SolidWorks Sheet Metal, this would be a great class to sign up for. So let's talk about this idea of edge relief and how to control the size and the shape. And we're gonna do this by beginning a new part document. So a new part, I'm gonna use my plain carbon steel millimeter template, and I'm gonna start out on the top plane, begin a sketch. I'm gonna sketch a rectangle here with the dimensions 35 by 120. And then I'm gonna hit escape. I'm gonna click this lower line, hold control, click the origin, let go of control and make that midpoint. I'm gonna click this upper line and I'm gonna to choose to make it for construction. And then I'm gonna go into my sheet metal command and choose to turn this into a base flange tab. I'm going to say here that I want the depth of this extrusion to go out to a depth of 35 millimeters. I'm going to say that I want the sheet metal parameters to use a wall thickness here of five millimeters. And I'm going to say I want to use a bend radius of six millimeters. And then down at the very bottom here, there's an option for auto relief. So for every new flange that we create, SolidWorks is automatically gonna add a rectangular relief and it's gonna use what's called a relief ratio of 0.5. And we'll talk about what that relief ratio is in just a few moments. So we're gonna go in here to, to the green check mark. We're gonna create that using that default auto relief option. And then we are going to choose this bottom edge here and we're gonna choose to create an edge flange. And this is where we're first gonna get exposed to this idea of bend relief. Now, one little tangential topic that I just wanna to bring to your attention is the idea of trim side bends. And this trim side bends kind of goes hand in hand with these options here. So let's talk about flange position real quick. I'm gonna press control three. What that does is it takes me over to a side view. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to examine Examine what's called the flange position. Currently, this flange is set up so that when the flange completes, it will be flush with this existing edge over here. And so this thing will kind of rest flat on a table. That's using this very first flange position, which is known as material inside. The second flange position is material outside. So one material thickness to the outside. And then this third flange position is bend outside. So the beginning of the bend starts here at the end of the existing material. So you've got material inside, Inside, material outside, bend outside. Those are the three most common flange positions. Well, if we choose this first option, material inside, then we're gonna also see this option here for trim side bends. And what trim side bends does is a little bit different from bend relief. You know, we've previewed bend relief a little bit here and we saw that what bend relief does is it just adds a little notch here so that this material can bend out cleanly. What trim side bends does is a little bit different. When we check this option on for trim side bends, what we're going to do is we're going to clear out this entire radius and trim side bends only really comes up when you've got a bend that's running right up against another bend, running right up against another 
radius. So trim side bends turned off. I hit the green check mark and we see that that entire set of material remains. And this would be kind of clunky. This would be difficult to bend. The manufacturing team's probably going to have to either do something on their own or come back and ask you some questions about that region. Let's edit that feature. And now we're going to say trim side bends turned on and we hit the green check mark and look at that. Now that whole region has been kind of hogged out. There's no longer a radius here where there was on that face. And now that thing's going to be able to bend cleanly. So similar to bend relief, but not exactly the same. It's, a, it's definitely a different option. It does something, you know, very different. Kind of serves a similar purpose, but it does something very different. Now you'll notice here if I say edit uh, flange one and trim side bends is still turned on. And then I choose edit flange profile and I just take this flange and I drag it in a little bit here, drag it in a little bit here. And now I'm going to hit the green check mark. You'll notice that that uh, trim side bends is still turned on. I hit the green check mark. Now, look, it didn't clear out this area because the flange is no longer coming right up against that edge. So even though in the definition of the flange trim side bends is turned on, it only really applies when that flange runs right up to an existing radius. So I'm gonna hit the green check mark here and now we see our first example of bend relief. So this is using a bend relief of rectangular and it's using a bend relief ratio of 0.5. So let's first of all talk about how we can adjust that setting. The setting for the relief type is here in edge flange one if I say edit feature, but you'll notice that it's currently set to uh, not use custom relief type, which means that it's currently set to use the default for this model. Well, where is that default coming from? Well, it's actually coming from two levels higher. If you go in here to this folder that says sheet metal, you can see that there's a, a sheet metal two body listed here. And if I right mouse button on that body and I say edit feature, there's an option in here for relief type. So there's an option in here for auto relief and there's an option in here for relief type rectangular with a relief ratio of 0.5. But that is also currently set to the default for this model. So where is that coming from? Well, that's actually coming from the sheet metal folder. So this folder here that contains the sheet metal bodies, if we right mouse button on that folder and we say edit feature, here we can see where kind of the, the top level setting is for auto relief. So currently that's set to rectangular. If I change that to ob round, then that's gonna change the setting here in this folder and it's going to change the setting here in the edge flange because they're both set to use the default for the model and so now we can see that 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 ob round setting is being used we're going from a line to kind of a half circle back to a line so how do you control the shape of a sheet metal bend relief well you can control it as the default for the entire model here in the sheet metal folder you can control it as a default for just that sheet metal body or you could control it independently here at the flange level i could say edit feature and then i could go down here to custom relief type and i could say i want this to use rectangular so even though the entire model is set to use ob round i'm saying that i want that one single bend to use rectangular now that's how you control the shape what about the size of that sheet metal bend relief? Well, to control the size of the sheet metal bend relief, by default, we use what's called a relief ratio. And what that relief ratio is, is it's set to 0.5. And what this means is 0.5 times the material thickness. And that's gonna yield the dimension. Now, what dimension will it yield? Well, let's take a look at the model and we can answer that question. So currently the material thickness, if I click on this edge here and then I look down in the status bar, the material Material thickness is set to five millimeters. And so now if I zoom in here on this relief and I click on this edge here, you can see that that edge has a length of 2.5 millimeters. So the length in this direction is gonna be 0.5 times the material thickness. And the length in this direction, the gap for the auto relief will also be 0.5 times the material thickness. So if I click on this edge here, we can see that that also has a length of 2.5 millimeters. You could also think of that as the distance from this edge to this edge. So if I pick on both of those edges, we see that the status bar is telling us that the distance is 2.5 millimeters, the distance from this edge to this edge. So now let's change the shape of that auto relief, right mouse button, edit, feature and we're going to go all the way down to the bottom here and we're going to say that we want to change the shape of this relief here from rectangular to ob round so there you see now we've got this ob round shape well for the ob round shape this line here is still going to be 0.5 
the relief ratio times the material thickness. And this gap here is going to be 0.5 times the material thickness. So this gap is going to be 2.5. So it actually goes a little bit taller when you use Abround because you, you also get the, the distance to the tangency point of that arc. So it does go a little bit deeper. Uh, maybe that would work out better for certain manufacturing teams, but it does go a little bit deeper because it's this line here that takes that relief ratio. So if I edit that flange feature and I say, I want to set that back to rectangular and now I want to use a relief ratio of one, well, now you see we get a much larger bend relief there. So from the preview 0.5, it looks like this and one, it looks like this. And so now what we'll see is that this edge here is gonna be uh, five millimeters, five millimeters for the length. And then the distance here between these two is also going to be five millimeters. So that's when you use a relief ratio of one. You can also get in there to your edge flange. You could right mouse button on that edge flange. You could say edit feature. And you could say, I don't wanna use a relief ratio. Instead, I wanna use discrete numbers. So I want the depth of this to go up to a depth of 10 millimeters. and I want the width to go out to a width of three millimeters and you can see in the preview how that updated we hit the green check mark and there we go we gave ourselves much more bend relief there much easier for the manufacturing team although sometimes when you have too much bend relief it does start to kind of pull out up in this region but that is kind of an overview of this idea of relief type. The one thing we didn't talk about was tear. So if I go in here and I say edit flange, uh, edit feature, and I say I want to use tear, what tear does is it just kind of pulls away from the material. And this really isn't going to work well when you've got thick materials. This would be something that's more applicable when you've got a very thin material. So if I go back up here to the top of the sheet metal folder, right mouse button and say edit feature, I could set my bend, uh, bend radius here maybe like four millimeters and then my wall thickness to one millimeter and we hit the green check mark and there we see we've got very very thin material bending off sometimes the manufacturing team can kind of tear that off or, or kind of make that cut on the fly but really tear would only be appropriate for very thin material or if you plan to go in and manually create some relief afterwards so if you planned on getting in here on your own if you didn't want to use the built-in tools but you wanted to put in some some discrete numbers for some reason you could get in there after the fact and then just manually punch in your your bend relief there so you could use tear in that scenario as well and then put in your relief manually and then of course that's going to show up in the sheet metal flat pattern as well so that's going to do it for our solidworks video on sheet metal bend relief. I hope that you learned everything that you needed to know about bend relief from this video. Let me know down in the comments if you have any questions. Let me know what your favorite part of the video was. And of course, if you're interested in venturing into the world of SolidWorks Sheet Metal, consider signing up for our brand new Toby's SolidWorks Sheet Metal Fundamentals training class. I've got all the links down below. And uh, of course, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, and I'll see everyone in the next video.